Uh, Rock with Wrestling Inc. I, I think arguably you've probably had the toughest schedule of any wrestler in history. Uh, you know, being on uh, being on top for ten years and working a full time schedule. Uh, oh, how's that tough? Because house, house, shows, <laughs> house shows. Yeah, he means live event dates, they're not house shows anymore. So live events. Live events, <laughs> live events. <laughs> but seriously, I don't, I don't think anyone else ever has had so, that kind of. Uh, basically, long and the short of it is, I really like my job. Okay, next. Uh, do you do you see yourself keeping that kind of a schedule, uh, you know, for the near future and, and going forward? You know, for everybody always asks the question, how how does he do it? How yeah. Does this, how does this go on? I love I love what I do, and uh, you'll you'll hear everybody say that, but uh, I I prove it. And uh, I'm not saying that uh, to condescend anybody, anybody else's opinion. I'm saying it because I love this. I truly do. Mm-hmm. And uh, I want to be in this as, as long as I can. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to. When, I, um, when I'm a step slower than I should be and I shouldn't be out there, I'm not going to be out there. And that will be very, very relevant to, to the entire audience. As you know, they're very fickle. Uh, when it's time to go, it'll be time to go. But until then, man, I'm going to ride the lightning because I love what I'm doing. Hi, Brad Swift from Hollywood Life. Um, how, if, if you win on Sunday, do you plan to kind of rebuild the U.S. title? I mean, Rusev is undefeated, obviously, but um, you winning the title again is I th- I a from different a, shine to I think it. from a competition aspect, it doesn't need to be re- uh, rebuilt. Uh, Sheamus had it before Rusev. Rusev's had it. He's undefeated. Um, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a beacon of achievement. I really do. I, uh, right now, we're, we're in a fickle situation with a, a heavyweight champion who um, when he shows up does some damage, believe me my, uh, I, I think I spoke German after some of this <laughs> but um, I, I want to be able to have a viable uh, competitive championship that's available at, at every live event uh, at every television, at every special event at every pay-per-view and on top of that um, I mean, those who have watched WWE, I am uh, almost overly patriotic, and that, that's not, um, as the rest of the guy would say, that's not the work, that's who I am, and it's, it gives me great pride, not only from a nostalgia factor, to win the championship that I won at WrestleMania 20, but to be, to be the bearer of, of essentially the, the championship that defines the United States. Will you bring back the center? Um, you know, <laughs> I think that might have been kind of like a... A, a design phase, but I, I, I can't say that I'm not looking into uh, the definition of what the new spinner would be. Okay. But here I am in a, in a suit and tie where when I had a spinner belt, I'd have been a fitted cap and a clean white t shirt and some jean shorts. So we'll see. We'll see. Good afternoon, John. Uh, Rob Lee from Sun in the UK. Um, very much enjoying previews of the up- up- upcoming Judd Apto film. Oh, thanks. Uh, it's nice to speak to some of your answers beforehand. Are there any other film projects on the slate beyond WWE Studios? Yeah, uh, Trainwreck's coming out in maybe July. Don't quote me on that, but it'll be summer. Uh, there's a movie with Tina Fey and a movie called Sisters. It's got a great cast. It's going to come out this Christmas. And I was able to sneak into a uh, Mark, Fal- uh, Mark Wahlberg Will Ferrell movie that uh, is tentatively titled Daddy's Home which I think is coming out calendar year 16. I have a very, very small role, but the movie is going to be hysterical, and uh, I hope everybody enjoys it. Could you tell us about that role? Um, no. <laughs> 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 Hi, 